So this is our 2013 Ford Ranger T6. Originally this was a 2.2 six-speed manual, our personal loan car that we've had for a good few years now. Bought it and obviously not after very many miles. The 2.2 Ford engine shit itself, so it was a good opportunity to put in an M57. So the setup we're running now, this is an M57 N2, which is the alloy block M57, the latest variant of the M57 before it went to the N57. And then behind that, we've put the 8HP from the later uh, X5, actually. And then it's running the standard Ranger transfer box. So the, the Ranger transfer box is in its original position, doing all the usual things that it normally does. Prop shaft lengths and everything are exactly the same. And then we've just put the BMW gearbox and then engine in front of it. Sorry then, underneath, it's tough to see, but this is the original cross member, all of which is the same. The mounts are the same, and the transfer box is the same, all the prop shafts are the same. But in front of it, via an adapter, which you can just about see there, is the BMW 8 HP. And then that goes on to the M57 N2 engine. Inside then is completely standard, pretty much, apart from the obvious, which is this shifter. So this is the BMW 8 HP shifter, which is mounted quite neatly, I think. It looks factory, I don't think you'd uh, necessarily know that that wasn't supposed to be there. The only difference actually that this is um, an automatic transmission tunnel rather than a manual one, because this was a manual car originally, so we bought an automatic tunnel and swapped it out. The four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive setup is exactly the same. That all functions perfectly, as it should do. So you can select four high or four low. The only difference is we've got this random opening here, which I, I don't actually know what that's for, but it was something to do with obviously the later auto that this came from. So I'll probably make a blank in play for that. All the dash and everything works as it should do. You can see here, everything is doing what it should do. Taco works, there's no lights on the dash. Everything, temp, fuel, everything works as it should. That's all as it should be. M57 running wise then to get this running standalone we use an engine loom an ECU from MW Machines 4x4 uh, the ECU is from ecux.com um, Simon Doherty and then that'll get the engine running in the car standalone Simon's ECU communicates with the the Ford stuff and gets all the dash to work correctly gets your speedo right gets your tachometer and, and all the lights on the dash working right it also sorts out the four-wheel drive side of things and things like your ABS and traction control and all that stuff. Engine mounts for this are really simple, so, or mounting in general. The rear end is completely standard. It's, it's all your original Ford stuff. You don't need to change anything there or the prop shaft. Um, and then for the engine mounts, they're just custom fabricated things that are really, really easy to make up. You just use a rubber donut or engine mount of your choice and then fabricate up a little bit of steel work to go to either side. It's pretty straightforward stuff, if I'm honest. So in terms of adapters and synchro products on this, we're, this particular car is running the BMW Auto and then the BMW engine, obviously. So we're using the BMW 6HP and 8HP adapter to range of transfer box. So you, you literally take the BMW box, bolt on an adapter and then bolt on the stock transfer box. You don't need to modify anything or you don't you need to use a random transfer box or the BMW transfer box. You don't need to change props or mounts or anything like that. And then a few other products on this particular car we've got some pulleys and thermostat housing and stuff like that that we that we make and we'll stick the links in the comments so if you didn't want to go with the auto box and you wanted to stay with the ford manual six speed you can do that you can literally just buy an adapter from us and then fit the the bmw engine keeping all the ranger transmission and everything stock including your shifter and everything inside the cab there's a lot less electrics with it because the the manual box has no electrics to it really and it's a, a much simpler and slightly cheaper conversion so then engine and gearbox choices so you can run a bunch of different engines and gearboxes from the bmw line so you can run the earlier m57 which is the narrow block um, which came in the range rover l322 uh, and earlier BMWs, then they went to the M57N, which was slightly better, had more power. That was the first of the wide blocks. Then you can go N2 like we've gone, and then if you want to get further into that, you can go to the N57, which is the much later one, which is a bit more refined, has more power and all the good stuff like that. Gearbox choices, you can mix and match a little bit with that. 
So you can run the six-speed manual that came in this uh, stock, you can run the six-speed auto from the BMW, or you can run the eight-speed auto from the BMW, which is like the most refined. Yeah, so you've got a good few options there.